Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a process video on my February 2019 Project Life Pages. Now, this year I've taken a little bit of a, a change in tune for my Project Life. I recently did a video, which you can find it in my playlist, and I'll try and remember to link it below, about my different plan of action for making Project Life in 2019 achievable. So the way I thought I would do that is I would really simplify my project life process down and I really wanted to use more stamps and I wanted my album to be ma the ma majority of it to be black and white photos with pops of color photos here and here and there just to, just as something fun to do. If I'm I thought if I'm not going to be creative in a way of putting lots of embellishments on, a way of being creative with my photos could be to do something like what I've done, which is black and white photos with a pop of colour. Now this was a little bit tricky for me, and you'll probably see me as I'm going through my process here floundering a bit. Because one, the stamping took a little longer than expected and it's not something I usually do. I'm not a big stamper and not putting lots of embellishments on is not my style. So if you ask me to scrapbook a layout, I'm going to use my tried and true techniques of layering up my photo, putting embellishments, adding my title, adding my journaling and done. So this sort of clean and simple style of scrapbooking in project life has really been a bit of a challenge for me. So what I thought I would do is start with February. January seems like a bit of a pressure month. It was huge. January is huge because it's school holidays here in Australia and you know everything's so busy. You're just getting over Christmas. Like in Australia we're hitting the beach, we're going on holidays, we're doing lots of things in January. So I thought I'd start with February, which was a bit of a smaller month to see if I could actually do it. Now, to be honest, I finish these pages and I go, I'm not sure I'm happy with it and I'm not sure I'm going to stick with it. But then I popped it into my album and I left it overnight and I added my 12 by 12 layouts because I'm what I'm going to do is also do a couple of feature layouts. I've added those in to the thing and I just sat and I flicked through the pages and I went, I think I can do this. I really do. So this whole month took me about maybe two and a half hours to complete. And so what I thought was, okay, I think I can actually do this. That project life does not become something that occupies a huge amount of my time. It occupies the equivalent of probably two, two and a half of my 12 by 12 layouts time. So I think at this stage, Completing February being the first month I've completed in my Project Life album, I thought this actually may be achievable, but it did take me to sit on it overnight and to have a bit of a think about it and flick through the pages again to work out whether I can actually do this. So here I am, I've grabbed out my stamps. I was super, super lucky, I guess, to have a bit of a splurge on some Kerry Bradford stamps and I used the alphas are the Brooklyn set and the Brooklyn outline set. So I could do that contrasting color there that you can see with the word boy. I've got some Tim Holtz little black alphas there, which are super tiny. And um, I've got some other stamps, some Heidi Swap stamps and some Iggy Doody stamps there as well that I thought I might use along the way as well. So I've just sort of pulled them all out and see what I can play with. I have oodles of Stampin' Up! stamp pads and I thought I would use some of those colours up. And that there is my Heidi Swap date stamp and I thought that's the one that I'm going to use majority of the time throughout the album. It's small, it's easy to use. Here's me, I'm trying to master stamping and it's it's not working real well, but I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep going. And and you'll see I have some fails in here and I have some really great successes. Now that you just saw me using um some white ink there, 
that is the stays on opaque in white. And I thought I'm going to give it a go. And I white is such a tricky color. You can get white paint pens and white gel pens. 99% of them don't work. You do get those rare ones that work and when they run out you you're devastated <laughs> so I had hoped that this white ink would be that really crisp white ink that would be able to have that nice sharp impression on my photos without having to like that would dry and um, so I picked up a bit of that and you'll see me flounder with that in a minute so I guess you guys can can look I'm after stamping techniques tips if you've got any anything that you do each time you can see that I'm clearly not doing it here in the video please in the comments below help this girl out help this non-stamping girl out and give me some tips uh, I, I would really love that and over the next 12 months I really want to sort of get my confidence back with using stamps I think they're a really cost effective way of adding a beautiful feature to your layouts that's really personalized especially with the alphabet sets um, so please, any tips you've got, let me know in the comments below. So, yeah, so this is, so as you can see, I'm just trying to really simplify it, not putting too much on. In my 2018 album, I had, I embellished 90% of every photo that went in. I was also working in a nine by 12 format there. So lots of little photos and lots of, lots of embellishing. Uh, so this here is, you know, a really sort of a, a complete 360 in my traditional style. So if you're hanging in there and you kind of like what I'm doing here, you might hang in with the journey for me and I'll try and do a few months every now and then so that you can kind of get a feel about where I'm going and see that evolution and I guess support me through that evolution over the next 12 months. I'm still working on my 2018 album and I found that now that 2019 has this simplified version, I actually don't mind feeling really behind in 2018 and just sort of work on it here and there. It's coming together like it, it really is and it is sort of my go-to when I just want something quick and sort of little and portable to do. It is my go-to so I know I'll get there in the end but having this sort of simplified 2019 means I think by the end of the year I will have completed 2019 and also have 2018 completed which will then give me free me up with the the headspace to go am I going to go my traditional style or am I going to continue to stick with that cl that clean look that I'm sort of trying to achieve in 2019 so who knows if you hang out with me until the end of the year you might see see where my thinking goes and and that thought process goes um yeah being a busy mum that really loves doing layouts um but really loves the value of project life uh it's it's trying to find that balance and I'm sure I'm not the only one out there that sort of struggles that way like today I went for a beautiful walk with my sisters we went up and had a look at a beautiful look out we took lots of photos one of those photos which is sort of a group shot I thought yeah I'm definitely going to scrapbook that the other photos were still just as fabulous but I knew that I wouldn't scrapbook them so but Project Life allows me to document all those little moments and so I really am I really am valuing that and I know that um that's something that I'll delight in as I look back on it over the, over the year and over the coming years when I, you know, want to when my kids are a bit older and we want to have a bit of a, a look back on times. This is a really way of a great way of capturing those detailed memories. How great is this little kind of tag set? This was my other little splurgy from the Kerry Bradford, and it is called that stamp set's called. Let me think. It's Label Maker. So if you're after some labels, once again, really cost effective if you can get that stamp set using custom colours that you know that are going to work at, into your theme um, and they're great little journaling features there, really cost effective way of um, of scrapbooking. So yeah, so I'm just, I'm going to pop them through that the whole album and um and sort of have that as a continuing feature there. The other thing that I'm going to work in my album is the, um, I picked up some, 
let me think what they're called. They're out of the Pink Fresh Studio new collection. Hang on, I'm going to try and find it while I'm sitting here. Here they are. They are hmm, Pink Fresh from the Joyful Day, the Mini Puffy Alpha Stickers. Now, they are just in such a delightful, bright, happy colours. I picked up a few sets of those because I thought that they might be a continuing alpha set going through the the album as well and you'll see me in a there they are in the corner there onto my page um you'll see me working through those uh as as the year goes on as well just to have that continuing kind of feature working in there so what type of project life are you are you one that loves to embellish and put lots of lots of features everywhere and just sort of pack it out or are you a little bit more like what I'm trying to achieve here that sort of simple clean uh, classic design um, I'd love to I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments tell me what kind of project life scrapper you are or what you'd like to be I know see I'd like to do this style really well and I'd love it to be really easy for me but but it's not. So um, I guess if I heard this question, I would say I'd really want to master that clean design when I know that when I like embellish the the heck out of something, I know that I'm in my element and it's something that I, I feel confident doing and takes me no time at all. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments. I like chatting with you guys and you um you definitely inspire me when I get to go and check out your videos and check out you guys on different social media sites and things like that. I love seeing everyone's work and I love us talking about our hobby. It's um it is it, it's really tricky at times because we all live so far away. Many of you, many of my beautiful subscribers and the people who enjoy my videos are um overseas and I I, I I think that's wonderful. I really think that the world is has shrunk down and made us small and let us connect. Um, when this technology, well, if we didn't have this technology, we we wouldn't. Uh, so I feel that's really. I feel like I'm really blessed in that. But I I am a people person and. I sometimes want to meet and connect with people uh, and so although you're although you're far away I hope there's people in your life that you can connect with that are creative like you and like uh, you know have like-minded interests because I think it's so in, it's so important so there we go to go I uh, here I am that one Look, look, I'm already how long into the this clip? We're, we're looking at about 13 minutes and I've only completed the cover page. So that's how long it took me to kind of get my head around it. Usually I'm wrapping up at this speed a whole 12 by 12 inch layout. <laughs> so <laughs> this tiny little page has got hardly anything on it. Took me just as long as a normal 12 by 12 inch layout that usually has mixed media and, and everything on there. How cute are these little Kerry Bradford? Once again, I had a big splurgy. Um, Kerry Bradford, they are the Days of the Week stamp in a really cute font. And this is where I really try and see this, see if this opaque white stays on ink is going to work for me. That I had that beautiful black component there on the thing. And here, here I go. You watch what happens. Nothing. So I'm thinking with this one, I've got to apply that white ink in that little bottle every time I want to use it. And here I go again. I put it down. Squishy, squishy, squishy. <gasps> Look at that. I was like, nailed. How gorgeous is that? I was like so super, super excited. And I'm thinking, I'm going to use this. I'm going to do this all over the place. It's nice and easy. and But it doesn't continue to be that easy. I'm not sure why. I'm going to have to have a real play with that. But how awesome does that white look on that black? Here you go. You watch. Nah, not as good. Look, nah. Here I go. See, I didn't reapply then. See, that I didn't reapply. So... I don't think this is very cost effective. And here I go. At, see, this is this is that stamping thing. I might need one of those foldy, stampy things. You know where you get the exact position 
every time when you put it in the right spot. I don't know what they're called. I might, you guys might know what they're called. You know those little foldy things where you put the stamp on, then you flip the little plastic thing over. I might need one of those because clearly I'm going to love the white ink because it looks so good on the black, but it's not going to work for me every time. And so it's going to be one of those one of those things. But how great does it look? So as you can see, I've got like these sticky tabs all over my photos. Now, the reason why I've done that, one, is to quickly, before I started this, I went through quickly, put down the date and the day, because I knew I had this really cute little stamp set that I wanted to use. And I didn't want to have to be flicking through my phone all the time. I want, remember, I'm thinking, I want this quick and easy. Here I am trying to clean off that stays ink now and it's not really working because it stays stays on ink and then I'm kind of freaking out going, oh, I hope, I hope this stamp stays beautiful as they always do. Once again, me freaking out about using a product that I'm not familiar with. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll soon see as we go. If not, I'll have to, I don't know. I'm, I'm relying on you guys to help me out with the stamping. <laughs> okay, please help me out. Um... Yeah, so I went through with sticky notes, sorry, back on track, um, went through with the sticky notes and I put down the dates and then I put down the days of the week because I knew I had this cute stamp set and I knew that I wanted to make that a continuing feature and I thought it was kind of fun to, sometimes I think it's actually cute to know what day, because we're in the month, we know what month we're in, it's kind of a cute little thing to go on a Tuesday Katie and I were FaceTiming or because down the bottom there, we were doing this FaceTime Snapchat thing. I don't know where those filters are on there. I don't, I'm not very tech savvy with that kind of stuff. And I was away for work. And so this is her ring me, checking on me, having our little chats. When I have to travel for work, we do this. Um, and so I think it's kind of a cute little idea that that happened on a Tuesday. I know that I, my journaling is I was away for work and here we are having a little chat and that was on a Tuesday. Does that, I don't know, am I sounding silly? <laughs> I might be sounding silly. Let me know. <laughs> do you think I sound silly? Or do you think that's kind of making sense? I thought it was kind of fun to go, um, that was, that date was actually a Tuesday. <laughs> All right, it's been a big day. Maybe it's not the best time of the day to be doing a voiceover. But anyway. Hang in there with me. If you love Project Life and you like to see me flounder, <laughs> then hang in there with me. <laughs> um, yeah, so as you can see, I'm kind of, the other thing I'm trying to think of is I'm not going to, I put in heaps of photos last year. I have two really fat 9 by 12 inch albums and I thought, Lauren I know like because I love photos and some of them turn out so great you want to put them all in there but I'm really going to try and be good and sort of put maybe two oh, okay I'm going to be real I'd, I'd like to say one of each moment but I'm going to be truthful because I I'm probably about three or four of each moment at the moment <laughs> so I'm going to try and stick to like two things all right, so like, like here, up in this one, one here, I was away for work and mum and dad were having Katie and she went to the swimming carnival. So the swimming carnival got one photo there because I snapped that of her as I was leaving out of town before she was going in the race. But then she got sunburn at the swimming carnival and so I've got two photos of sunburn, one at the top and one down the bottom where she's holding the moisturising cream. I know you're probably thinking, why are you putting that in there? But I think it was more about the fact that my parents who were looking after her while I was away were absolutely mortified that they, <laughs> they she came home and she was sunburnt on their watch, and which I didn't mind at all. My parents could, I, I trust my parents and I know that they are, wonderful, beautiful, caring parents that would not hurt any child. Um, so it was sort of like a bit of a, a moment that while I'm away, I get these photos of my gorgeous girl and she's in a ballet leotard ready to go off to dancing and she's super sunburnt. <laughs> so yeah. Now I don't know why that just sort of captured. Hmm, I don't know why. Hang in there with me. I don't know why that video just jumped back there. Maybe I'm just finishing that off. I'm not sure why I kind of got a double, a double look there. 
anyway, hang in there. It looks like we've had a bit of a technical error. Hang in, you don't really want to see this bit again. So I'm just going to pause right here and I'll be back. Hang on a second. Super sorry about that, but it was, I, I, I apologise, it was just a big technical glitch. So hang in there with me, here's a flip through of my completed pages and how this month came together. So I hope you like it, nice and simple, using those date stamps and how how it sort of this is sort of the next day when I got up and I had a bit of a, a look over it and to see how it was feeling here's my feature layouts that I'm putting for February these happen moments that happened in February and and there you have it so it came together in the end and I'm really happy with it and I'm hoping this flow will continue as we go on in 2019. Thank you. I'm super sorry about that, that technical glitch. And hopefully in March or April, when I share how those ones came together, um, you'll see how you'll see it all and how, you know, how, how super quick it ended up being. All right. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I hope you enjoy, enjoy the photos at the end for a bit of a close up look. Take care, guys. Bye.